What's going on guys? This is Dio from Red Diamond Mobile Auto Detailing and today I wanted to talk about something a little bit important. This is the most important tool that I've, I think any detailer really has. And behind me I've got some of my most expensive tools that I've invested in. Obviously, you know, you've got products and steamer and paint depth gauge and, you know, a super correct CRI flashlight for paint restoration polishes, all that stuff. And all those are great. Um, but these are not my most important tool. Um, funny enough, it is these, it's microfiber towels. Um, as far as investing in these, and uh, of course I use these almost on a daily basis and I use these a lot more. Um, so today's video is gonna be on microfiber towels, differences between um, different kinds of microfiber towels and the different uses that you would have for them as well as caring for them. All right, so like I said, I, I pulled out my, some of my, my favorite tools or whatever expensive tools um, just to make a point that these are not, um, they're great, um, but these are, are something that definitely need to be taken care of, uh, for sure. Um, so as far as microfiber goes, um, definitely, you know, invest in quality. I've had some microfibers that have lasted me a long time, but that's just because of proper care. It only takes one misuse of a towel to kind of destroy it. Um, so the way that I look at microfiber towels is I have, uh, obviously there are towels that I have multiple, um, uses for or towels that have a single purpose, right? And then within those branches below, I've got different grades of towels, meaning, um, uh, you know, these are like brand new, these are slightly used, more used than that, and then these are getting ready to go in the garbage. You know, they've, they've got grades to them. Um, so, and we're, we're gonna talk about that, and we're gonna talk about how to clean them and dry them properly and all that stuff right now. Um, so I wanted to make uh, the first part of this video about the uh, different types. All right, so let's go to school for a little bit. So as far as microfiber towels, there's a couple things that you need to know before buying microfiber towels. So microfibers obviously have multiple different purposes depending on how they're designed. And they also have um, different kinds of like pros and cons, right? Depending on what you're, you're doing. If you're buying low quality towels, just know that that's what you're getting as far as, as quality. If you're trying to get decent microfiber towels that are gonna last you quite a while, again, if, if taken care of, uh, and that are going to you know, protect you when you're taking care of vehicles and when you're taking care of you know, the interiors and things like that, um, paint and all that stuff, uh, then good microfiber towels can go anywhere from a dollar to $20. <clears throat> Just depends on what kind of towel you're getting and what the purpose is, you know? So I've, I've spent quite a lot of money on towels. So as far as the, the demonstration that I had over there, as far as my expensive tools that I've had, of course, I have hundreds of dollars worth of microfiber towels that I have to make sure that I take care of because one bad uh, misuse of a towel or, or whatever when caring for it can lead to it being, you know, not usable anymore. And that's, you know, if you do an entire load, you know, if you're washing it or drying it or whatever the deal is, you could potentially lose $100 just because you forgot one little thing, right? So know beforehand, right? Obviously, I'm telling you this because I've made that mistake, right? So I've learned from my mistakes and, and uh, thankfully most of my mistakes have been like for this and not customer scars. But anyways, so we're gonna talk about this. So microfibers, what are they made out of? And uh, this is my test hood, so I don't care about this hood, right? So this makes no sense for this camera angle to be like this, does it? All right. So what makes a microfiber different from any other towel? Okay, so will any other towel, like if we're comparing these two towels, right? Besides the material and everything else that we're getting, we're getting ready to talk about, is that this towel, basically like if you were to, if you were to basically take a side shot, right? Like, and understand exactly what the towel is made out of. It's pretty much a flat surface, right? So when you're picking up, so like if there's contaminants on the paint, right? Say this is the car paint and these are contaminants, right? If you take this towel and you go to wipe those contaminants, you're just going to take those contaminants in this towel and just drag it across the paint. And of course, what does that cause? Scratches, right? So then microfiber was designed in the 90s and revolutionized mobile detailing or mobile detailing. Car, car care in general, 
basically what they said is, all right, so we're going to take your paint. You've got a bunch of contaminants on here. We're going to take a towel. So the, again, we're doing the same thing. Taking a side shot of it. So that's basically a side shot of the towel. So if we amplified it, it's basically this real big plush towel that have loops, right, in the towel, right? And so if this is the body of the paint or this is the car, you've got these contaminants, right, all along the surface. Instead of the towel just, you know, dragging it across the surface and scratching the paint, those contaminants actually go inside the towel, right? So these little loops will actually scrub, right? That's your scrubbing kind of uh, property of the towel. But it also kind of puts the contaminants, like I said, it pulls them into the towel. So if you have contaminants on the surface and you go across it, the, it's not going to continually drag across the surface now. And the surface of the microfiber also is still clean, right? Unless, of course, you overload it, which, which of course, you just got to pay attention to. But because uh, you can't over soil the microfiber. But for the most part, those contaminants will go inside the towel and it won't scratch the surface, right? So that's the difference. So uh, in a little bit, we're going to talk about, you know, caring for your microfiber. And the one thing um, that can destroy a microfiber is drying. And we'll talk about that later, right? But just, just to give you guys an idea. So again, like, like let's say the window towels, right? So here's our microfiber, right? And we've got these loops and they're like this, right? Okay, this is like, you can't even see it, right? Okay, let me see if I can't get this in here. Okay, so this is like your microfiber, right? And then this is like your window towel. And this is why window towels are not the best choice when it comes to drying your vehicle or removing contaminants from even the glass. It's good for oils because there's not enough space. Um, the, the loops are just way too close. They're not, it's not designed for that, whereas the microfiber is, right? So when damage occurs to microfibers, the one thing that happens, right, is these, I'm gonna draw bigger now, these loops, okay? So when, the, when damage occurs, let's say you throw it in the dryer and you throw it in on hot, okay? Two things are probably gonna happen, one, Okay, so that's the before. One is that those loops are going to break, right? Now, will it still absorb water? Will it still pick up things? Yes. Not as efficient as a towel that has the loops. It is seriously degraded in life, okay? Another thing that can happen, depending on how hot your dryer is, is that those loops break, just like those, and then they actually will, uh, like, fold on themselves, right? So if they're individual like this, right? The heat actually like it, it uh, melts them, right? Until they're, they're just these little balls of, you know, microfibers, right? Which are just horrible for, for paint and stuff like that. They definitely don't pick up things. They don't help clean uh, and they can cause scratching because now you've got these hard fibers that are just, ah, they're just so tough that they can actually scratch the paint, right? So again, let's say you were to throw, you know, $150 worth of towels into a dryer and oh shoot, you normally have your dryer set on high for your regular clothes and you just were busy and you forgot to set it on air dry or at the very least, uh, I don't even put it on, we're gonna talk about all of this. Um, but I don't even put it on like cool down. I put it on air dry and say you were to put it on high heat and you forgot and messed up You probably ruined $150 for the towels So that's why it's so important to talk about caring for towels properly, right? So again, like I said, I'm jumping ahead But I wanted to tell you a little bit about how microfibers how they work And it's this looping system that makes it completely different from just any kind of regular old towel uh, And bath towels too. This is why bath towels they're not designed like this. Bath towels are designed with the fibers just sticking up, right? So when you see your neighbor washing their car and they're drying it with a bath towel, go tell them, 
uh, yo man, use the loops, right? All right, anyways, skipping ahead, but here we go, we're gonna t keep talking about this. Oh, microfiber towels, right? They are made primarily from polyester and polyamide, okay? Um, so, as far as what these towels are made out of, primarily, it is an 80-20 blend, right? That's your basic microfiber towel. So your polyester is how I would describe as like the scrubbing pickup, right? So when you're, say there's something on this hood, when you're taking your towel and you're wiping across it, right, and you've picked it up, the towel has picked it up, and you continue, it's not going to drag across the surface, right? Unlike something like a shop towel, right? So if I was to take a towel like this, right, and I was to wipe it, right, and keep going, that contaminant, whatever it is, is going to continually go across the surface and it's going to scratch the surface. This is why we don't use um, sponges, California dusters. We don't use those uh, rain blades. We don't use uh, the chamois. We don't use any of that, right? Because of the fact that when you have a contaminant that's on the paint and you grab it, there's nowhere for it to go. It just stays on the surface and drags across the surface and can scratch the paint. These are garbage, right? Meaning everything that's like that. That's why we use microfibers is because when a contaminant is picked up, the towel pulls it into it in one of these fibers, right, inside. And so it's not on the surface of the towel anymore, right? So that's what the polyester does. The polyamide is your absorption, right? So that is, you know, obviously that's self-explanatory. So when you're, when you're drying the vehicle, right, after a wash, um, that's what's going to absorb most of the uh, most of the water, right? So as far as 80-20 goes, that's like your basic all-purpose kind of towel, right? So let's say just, you know, for an example, you wanted to buy towels specifically for drying, right? If the vehicle's cleaned, then obviously you can dial the polyester down and you want to bring the polyamide up, right? So either you want to get like a 70-30, a 60-40, you know, something like that. Now, again, you still want polyester in the towel because even though you're drying it, unless you're drying the car in a vacuum, there is still a chance of contaminants getting on the paint. So obviously you don't want a 100% polyamide microfiber towel. I don't even think they make those, and that's there's a reason for that, right? So that's the blend, right? So when you look at your towel, and of course I don't have any, uh, when you look at your towel, there's a tag on it, and it'll tell you what the blend is. So just a quick note, when you have a towel and you have a tag, rip it off because that can cause scratching. So just that's kind of a rule of thumb. But anyways, that explains your, your, you know, your, your blends, right? So we've got that. Okay. So now we're going to talk about the other part of microfiber towels that you should keep in mind. Okay, so we've talked about blends. So the next thing that we need to talk about is GSM, which is grams per square meter. And all that means basically is how thick the towel is, right? So a, like a normal range, let's just make, let's talk about 200 to 600. Anything, out of, anything beyond that, you know, that's, to me, I, I don't know if that would make any sense. But normal, and we're kind of detailing, 200 to 600. So, 200 is going to be really thin. Now, the only time you would want a really thin towel is something like this, right? This is like a window towel. Again, just for oils. If you were to use this towel as a, a microfiber, the problem is, is that your fingertip pressure will be... Um, it would... How, the best way to say this. Um, the pressure would go through, meaning that the, your fingertips would actually apply more pressure to whatever you're using right on the paint which could be an issue and then also it's just being so thin that it's not going to be able to pick up a lot of stuff whereas with this if you put your fingertips on it it's going to it's going to kind of distribute it 
there's a lot of thickness in this towel. And then it's got a lot of area for it to be able to pick up different contaminants and stuff like that, right? So 200, that's like your, that's your window towel. That's real thin. Um, this one gets a little bit thicker. This is a waffle weave, but this is for, uh, for windows as well. But it's a little bit thicker than, than two, you know, 200. I would say this is like 250. This is maybe 300, right? And then you get into your, like your all purpose, which is 350, right? And then you can get towels that are like 400, 425. That's about the highest as I would go. And um, I don't have them in here. They're inside, but they're obviously a lot thicker. That's an exaggeration, but they're a lot thicker and they're able to, um, to pick up more. So I would use those for like wax removal, right? So if you put on a synthetic sealant or, or whatever the deal is, and then you need to buff off the access, those are great, right? So you've got, you know, this, this towel, you know, 225, somewhere, it's somewhere around there, I believe, 225 to, you know, 250. This is 300, and then that is your um, 325 to uh, 350. And then, like I said, you could do 400 to 425. And like I said, anything past that's a little ridiculous. Um, would be good for ra uh, wax removal. Sorry, I'm talking and drawing at the same time doesn't work. Okay, so that's your GSM range, right? So depending on what you're trying to do, if um, you know you're wanting window towels, you want a little bit lower of a GSM, you want it to be thinner, um, you want it to basically be designed for oils, right? Stuff like that. Um, and then uh, wax removal or things like that. Now GSM is in comparison uh, with how many fibers are on the towel, right? So like this towel, for instance, Yes, it's, you know, I, like I said, I think it's 250. I'm almost, I'm almost positive of that. 250. So it is 250 GSM, right? But this is also 110,000 fibers per square inch, right? I mean, it's really, they're really close. And the way that these are designed, um, it, it's, like I said, it's designed to pick up oil. So even though, you know, you wouldn't get a towel that's 250 GSM and then get a towel that's, you know, only... 100,000 fibers per square inch. That's a low quality. That's just a cheaply made microfiber towel, right? So GSM is great, but you need to know the other part, which is fibers per square inch. So you've got this down, right? So now, also, I just want to make this very clear. This is a throwaway towel. This stays in my shop. I unfortunately I got wood chippings in this, and uh, so I no longer use this for cars. This goes, I use this for my hands for the shop. So I just want to make that clear because I know somebody will say something. So anyways, you know what GSMs are, right? So now let's talk about, like I said, this is fibers per square inch, right? So again, talking about these different towels, right? This one over here, um, this is 110,000 fibers per square inch, right? This is a low quality window towel, right? I don't use these anymore, right? I just have them in my, in my shop, but I don't use these anymore. I don't care about these. I invested in these, right? And these are 400,000 fibers per square inch, right? And then obviously your everyday kind of microfiber towels, you know, somewhere around the 200,000 range, right? So, Again, if you're going to get a towel that's low in GSM, you know, then you get a towel, you know, low GSM, 110 to 400,000 um, fibers per square inch. Again, I'm going to say these are better quality. These are the waffle weave towels. Uh, these are swipes. They work okay, but they do streak. These don't streak, depending on your, your technique, of course. But with these, they just are a pain. And they don't last that long. And then the, I'm not a fan of these. It's for scrubbing, but... You know, I use microfibers for that. Anyways, I'm not talking about par uh, brands or anything like that. That's not the point of the video. Um, so if you get something that's low in GSM, you know, you, you kind of want to get a little bit more, you want to get more fibers per square inch. That's going to be your window towels. If you get something that's higher in GSM, you get something that's a little bit lower in and fibers per square inch, that's your microfibers, right? So it's like this dial that you kind of, you, you mess with, you know, uh, you know, that you just go up and down with right? Higher GSM, uh, then lower FSI, right? 
Okay, so now this is all generalities, right? So just just take it as that. This is just a guide. This is kind of like a, you know, one size fits all kind of thing, which you know I'm not a fan of, but I'm just just for simplicity simplicity's sake. Um, when you're buying microfiber towels, just pay attention to the blends, pay attention to the grams per square meter, pay attention to the fibers per square inch, right? And those three things, if you basically go like, I want a window towel, right? So let's let's do this. So these are going to be like the three most basic types of like towels that you're going to want, right? Windows, your paint, okay, which is also going to be for your interior. Basically buy the same two packages of towels to keep them separate, right? And then uh, wax removal. So with window, okay, what we're going to do is we'll start with GSMs. And then we'll go to, sorry, we'll start with blend, GSMs, and then FSIs. That's what we're going to talk about. So window, what am I going to want? I'm going to want a 70-30 blend, okay, polyester, polyamide. Why? We're absorbing water, we're absorbing oils, right? So you're going to want that blend, okay? As far as GSMs, you're going to want something low, 250, you know, 300, right and then FSIs you're gonna want something higher let's say 400,000 that's just because that's my towel right so let me do it this way I know I put it over there okay this is your blend this is your GSM's FSIs right just like that Okay, paint, that's your multi-purpose towel. It all could also be multi-purpose, right? Multi-purpose microfiber. Okay, so that's your, that's your, that's your paint, that's your interior, that's, that's, that's your wheels, that's your door jams, that's your leather, everything. You basically just buy the same towel and you just keep those things separate. You don't use, you never use the one that you use for wheels on paint. You never use the one that's on wheels, you know, for interior engine. Like, you just keep them separate, right? So with that, you're going to want an 80-20 blend, right? That's your that's your average GSMs. You're going to want anywhere from 300 to 350. 325, I find, is the sweet spot, but again, to each his own. The FSIs, you know, 200,000, 250,000, somewhere around there, you know, that kind of range. <clears throat> Wax removal. Again, 80-20, you're going to want that scrubbing power, GSMs, now you're going to bump it up. Now you're going to go 400, you know, 425, right? And then the FSIs, you can keep the same, 200,000, you know, somewhere around there, right? So again, this is just kind of a basic guide, right? If you're buying towels, what to pay attention to? Because obviously, if you just type in microfiber towels, and to Amazon or you go into Home Depot or whatever the deal is, you really don't know what you're getting, right? With these things in mind, with your blend, your GSMs, and your FSIs, you know that you're, you're getting a high quality towel if that's what you want. You know you're getting a low quality towel if you're just looking for cheap throwaway towels if you're gonna use for the engine once and then throw away or, or whatever the deal is or you've got a car that's got a bunch of mold in it. Obviously, you don't wanna use your good towels because whatever you use for mold, you're gonna have to, you know, you, I don't risk it, I throw it away. So anyways, this is a, it's a kind of a basic guide. This is in no means in depth or anything like that, but this will at least kind of tell you a little bit more about microfiber towels and hopefully you learned a, a little something about it. So now, now that we kind of know a little bit about microfiber towels and what they're made out of, now we're going to talk about how to care for them. All right, so we talked about different kinds of microfiber towels. We talked about how expensive they are and how long we need to keep them, right? So... Really, the only way that I see damage occurring to microfiber towels is during the cleaning process, and it's really the dryer. It's not so much the washer, but I'll give you some tips or whatever, but it's really the, the, the drying aspect of it. So when you're washing, um, keep all of your towels the same, right? So when you're washing, and I know it's a pain or whatever, but trust me, it will pay for itself time and time again. When you do your interior towels, wash them together. When you do your exterior towels, now I've talked to you guys about I've got towels on my exterior that are like on its last leg. I've got all-purpose kind of most, you know, everyday driver kind of towels 
for exteriors, and then I've got luxury car exterior towels. You don't wash those the same, right, or, or in the same load. So you would wash those three in three separate loads. You wash your glass towels separate. You wash your interior towels separate. If you have interior towels that are for everyday drivers, and then you've got like really soft leather towels like Bentley leather or stuff like that, you would wash those towels separately. So basically, if you have multiple towels for multiple different uses, whatever those uses are, keep them together, right? Because what happens is when you take a microfiber towel that's like a low-grade microfiber towel and you wash it with a window towel, that microfiber towel is going to beat the crap out of that window towel. And then when you go to use that window towel on, a, on glass, you're going to notice where's all this lint coming from, from the microfiber towel that you washed it with, right? So you keeping towels together, it doesn't keep everything, you know, perfect or whatever, because obviously you're washing it in a washing machine where everything goes, right? But a good way to do it is <clears throat> do all of your really clean or luxury towels first and then slowly go down from there and use and then wash like your filthiest. And then after you're done with all your microfiber towels, then you would actually clean, you know, the drum of the washing machine and that would kind of help not reintroduce contaminants into it because again i'm way more concerned about my either like brand new towels or my luxury towels i spend way more money on those than i am the junk towels that i use once and then throw away right so just something to keep in mind as far as the washing machine setting um even if it's um so what i'll do is i don't fill this up more than halfway you know uh and that's mainly my my b all-purpose towels that's obviously the ones that I get that I use the most um, halfway but still do super load right on my window towels even though I'm only putting in you know 20 super load right because again I'm way more concerned about oils not being on the window towels than I am on the all-purpose towels right because that obviously affects the window towels more um, as far so so anyways the point being is that the more water you can use the better that's that's the basically the 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 short of it is as far as wash goes i keep it on warm um you can put it on hot but again i don't know you know to me hot's just too much it doesn't need that much to to break it down um the stuff in the towel so to me hot is just it's adding that risk factor that it may actually get too hot uh, depending on what your hot is in your water, it may actually get too hot that it actually damages the towel in some way, right? So I, I just don't risk it. I put it on warm. And then as far as, uh, you know, the wash setting, um, I just put it on normal. It, it's not a big deal. Um, so anyways, when you do that, the dryer, right, that's where the damage occurs. So when I do all of my towels, regardless of what towels they are, Again, you're still keeping your towels separate. You wouldn't dry a window towel with a microfiber towel. Right? We've talked about that. So, um, but no matter what towel it is, air dry. I always do air dry. I don't even do. I don't even do cool down. That's when those fibers. So when you see, when you have those loops on your microfiber towel, right, and then they they break apart, right, and then they're no longer loops. They're individual strands. It's because either you washed it, and it, it most likely it's because you washed you washed it and then you dried it and you put the dry on heat. That heat can break apart those fibers or it can actually cause them to actually fold on themselves, right? And again, they're more useless than just being stood up. So they can actually fold in on themselves and shrink, right? And then the towel is just, it's just garbage. You, it's ruined, you know? So as far as the cool down goes <clears throat> or as far as the dryer goes air dry and then just make sure that your lint trap is really clean and the inside of your driver is really clean as far as, far as lint you just don't want to get lint in there so if you throw in like a cotton blanket out of the way there and then right after that you throw in your microfiber towels you're probably going to be picking cotton out for quite a while and speaking of picking cotton here is the uh the next little phase right so this is actually where the idea of the of video came along. Ready to see how much of a nerd I am. So I do this about once a week. So when I do all of my towels, right, I'll have them all next to me. Um, and then what I do is I sit here. I'll turn on my headlamp. And then I will go through the towel and I will tweezer out, you know, any little thing 
that might have been caught in the washer. Like right here, I see something. Obviously, you're not going to be able to see it, but it's just a little white speck of something. Um, but anyways, like I said, these towels are really good at picking up anything, you know? So, of course, they're going to pick stuff up from the dryer or the washer or whatever the deal is. So, and especially, um, these are a little bit more high fibers uh, or high pile, right, as opposed to this, right? See how this is more plush, right? So, this I use for, like, wax. This is what I'll use as my wax towel. So when I put wax on a car, this has got a lot more uh, uh, scrubbing because it's got more uh, polyester in it and it's a higher pile. So when the, the towel is getting overloaded with wax, right, see this towel wouldn't be able to last as long. Whereas this towel, I can probably get a whole car done with because it's got more room for that wax to pull into the towel as a part as opposed to this. This isn't how much. So, but anyways, I'll sit there and just pick everything out, make sure that those towels are uh, are completely clean. Because as Mike Phillips would say, it takes hours to uh, to make paint look perfect, um, but it only takes seconds to scratch it and, and ruin it, uh, which is very true. And this is part of that, just being a detailer. This is part of it, that you sit here for an hour and you watch a movie or whatever, and uh, and and then you you just take care of your towels, right? So if you take care of your towels, your towels get take you know they'll take care of you. I hope that this kind of explained everything. Um, to me, this sounded like an absolute mess, um, but I hope that this helped. Uh, I'm gonna try to edit this to where it makes sense, but in my head, there's just a lot going on. Um, but this is kind of like the overall microfiber guide, right? What was going through my head? I literally was sitting here doing this, and I was like. I need to get this on video. So, um, but anyways, like I said, hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions, definitely hit the comments down below. You can always email me at dogreen at ymail.com. Um, and as always, guys, I'll see you out in the field, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much.